Okay, hello, this is Nature Nerd 1000, and this is my first, uh, video game walkthrough, and I'm going to do The Hobbit, and I beat this game, like, several times, and it's, like, really fun and stuff, so. Well, this is a lot easier than doing a review on the DS, so it was a ton of work. So, basically, first we have a map, then, the subject of the map is The Shire, um, it's the first place you start go up, there's really nothing up there, some castle thumb, and basically your object, and those are the mountains, those are where the goblins are, I really like the book, it was a really good book, you should read it, <laughs> um, that's like the middle part, this is like sort of the peaceful part, sort of, not really, and this is like the woods where the giant spiders are, and here is the mountain, which is your objective where the gr dragon is and there's like all the gold. Now, first I'm going to delete a file. Then we're going to start over. And I'm going to name this KGS KGS 1000. Or maybe that's too much time. How about A, B, C, D. So I name my file, and I'm going to call it done. So welcome to part one of this walkthrough. Wow, this is so much easier than... <clears throat> so first you have Gandalf, and he says good morning. Read that for yourself. Wow, this review was so much easier than, like, a DS one, because you have to, like, show two screens. Why didn't I invite a wizard to tea? Told them to okay, so I think this, like, is a cupboard. No, I'm not. So, basically, first you have to go, like, here, whatever... Oh, there's nothing right there, but... And here is some meat, and you're gonna need that. Because food replenishes your health. Like, later in the game, you'll find that out. I really like this game. It's a really fun game. More meat. There's nothing in the core green fens or whatever they are, if you're wondering. <clears throat> so then, basically, the next step is to go right here. And if this is like one of his cousins or friends or whatever. And then, he basically, the moral of this part is... He gives you firecrackers, because you're going to need them in the game. Actually, they're not that helpful, actually. They needed help this sick woman in bed. Okay, so this chest is locked, but first you need to go in this cabinet. Sort of a little hard to find. Um, there's medicine in there. And then you have to give this granny thumb, or whatever she is. I'm not a criticizing old people if you're watching this. Um, then you have to give her medicine, and then she gives you this special key. And I don't think this is much use for the game, but for some reason... Let's see, there's... There's a bag of coins, and I originally thought this was useful, but I found out it wasn't, really. Because it's not in the items, because, as you can see, if you press select, see, these are the items I have so far. So this, with food replenishes your health, this then does, like, some firecracker stuff. Um, if you have 50 of these, it gives you an extra life, and these are just keys you have. 
to like open stuff. And right now I have no more. So basically you have to keep making your way forward, you talk to this granny fan again. <laughs> Why are people so old in this game? And she says, My teeth have gone down just read it for yourself. And she tells you this thing about like the dog or whatever, like you have the snake. So first you have to go in here. And there's another old granny. Why are there so many old grannies in this game? Look what I found, Mr. Baggins. And then she says, like, you're gonna get hurt from, like, that firecracker stuff. Just a word of wisdom, I guess. And then basically that granny told you... Okay, so basically, if you go like this, you can't get past the dog. But what you have to do is you have to press R, and if you were one, and then you have to sneak past the dog. And by the way, um, let's see. A is to open stuff, so. Then you have to talk to this one w lady. And she basically says, get this card out of the mud or whatever for her. Thank you for pushing on the mud. Then she gives you meat. And then you press A again to open the door. Oh, wait a minute, there's nothing in here. Then you have to talk to this little man. And you basically, he wants you to get rid of this old pot of her. Or whatever it's called. Like, wow, you're allowed to break stuff in The Hobbit. He wants you to break stuff, that's always fun. And then it gives you food. And then you have to open this door. Oh, there's no meat in here either. So I should just go out. Oh, by the way, those little shiny ball fins, like, get enough of those, let's give you a life. Basically, you open this. Then you're in like some sort of store town. Hi, Bilbo. Welcome to the green room. And then basically, this way, this lady is like talking about the door who I like, came to the house or whatever. Sort of scary, the music. And I think he gives you like some seed cakes or whatever. Oh, and then there's like a secret room thing up here. I never actually found about this until I could reach it. When I beat the scam again. And then basically they sell the stuff. I had cakes for breakfast. Wow, that was really wide words of wisdom. Okay, so you can't go any farther. So basically you have to go all the way back home. Uh go out of here, and then the dog barks. And I can't believe how realistic that is. Look how realistic that is. So basically, this is my house. Or the Hobbit's house. And then there's cheerful music. I can't believe it. And they say all this stuff about doors. Just read it for yourself. I'm not much of a reader. All these dwarves are coming to a house for some weird reason. It's actually for like the journey ahead. Or whatever. So this is there's like five more dwarves that come in. And these are all dwarves if you don't notice them. Finally Gundalf comes and then more dwarves come in. More and more I mean that's some store. I forgot who that was. That one's like the kin of the mountain or whatever. He's like great, 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 great something. Then Gundalf tells you you have to do some adventure. Yes, just read it for you. 
And then there's the night comes by. And then he says, oh no, they left without him. Then you want to save. 